Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. This is Erin. 안녕하세요 여러분, Erin입니다. And thank you so much for checking out my channel. If it's your first time, please don't forget to subscribe and give me that thumbs up. That really means a lot to me. Happy Sunday, y'all. My tree is probably the first thing you're seeing, but please don't judge me. We've been so busy, especially this week. So we've been pretty busy with our work and school. I almost didn't want to turn on the camera because it's, it's a hot mess. But first thing first, it's already nine o'clock. Everything's due today. I need to write a paper and I need two discussion replies and a quiz. So I'm gonna start before it gets too late. In days like today, I need coffee, so let's make some. So I'm going to do my homework in our office. My husband's going to do it in the living room. I came in here because I really need to focus today. I got all day to do this. And today's actually Super Bowl Sunday. We normally get together with our friends, but not this time since my husband and I need to finish our midterm assignment. So instead of seeing our friends, my husband and I, we're still gonna watch the game and we're gonna order some Korean chicken. So normally like out here, Bongchun is very popular. It's almost like Gyochun, but for me, it's been like hit and miss. BBQ chicken is pretty good, but my honest opinion, a BBQ chicken is mediocre. We personally love CM chicken. I don't know if it's in other areas as well. It's actually a franchise called Chungman chicken. I think they originated in Korea, like BBQ chicken but their snow onion chicken is so good. So if you guys want to see what it's like, please stick with this video. I'm going to use this study timer so I can focus better. Isn't it cute? I even named her Kumi because we have Koo brothers. Kuma and Cookie. I'm gonna do 50 minutes and 10 minute break. So 50 minutes. Alrighty. such as cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes. So whenever I write, I make sure I get outline. I just need to answer all these questions and make my sentences flow better, then I'll be done. Okay, so 50 minutes done and look, it gives me coins, like a plain little simulating game. So I'm gonna take 10 minute break and get back to writing. I'm like halfway done. So this past week, I was very surprised because I gained about 100 new subscribers, which is really good and I'm very happy. And I wish I can say thanks to every each one of you guys. But I also received a lot of questions about social media. A lot of people ask me about my Instagram so we can follow each other. But just wanna let you guys know that it's been over a year since I deactivated my Instagram. There are a few reasons why I stopped using social media is a personal experience and personal opinion. Instagram, I deactivated my account after I came back from Korea because I realized that people try too hard to be perfect and happy on Instagram, but I know for sure that they're not in real life. And it was very exhausting. And on Instagram, everyone is just looking for some kind of validation from other people. And people spend so much time either try to update 
update their IG or to keep up with people they follow. It was kind of hard for me, like first one or two months, and I used Instagram way before it became popular. So I think it was about like 13, 14 years ago when I started using Instagram, and it became a habit for me. But after quitting all this social media, that helped me a lot with my mental health because I wasn't exposed to those negative content on the internet as much. That kind of lowered my stress and anxiety level. I still have those, but it's way less than how it used to be. Also, not being on social media gives me more time to be productive. And you will be surprised how much time you spend on just like scrolling down. So not using social media definitely gave me more time to do more meaningful work and activities and the quality of my sleep. Do you know having more screen time affects your sleep quality? Having the less screen time before bed, it improved my sleep patterns and I definitely feel more rested. And also my focus level is a whole another story because there's no distraction. To give you guys an example, before I came back this time, the reason why I was burned out and overwhelmed about YouTube is because it took me like two three days or even a week to edit my video just one video and nowadays i can just finish it in one day or two days maximum that includes putting subtitles and everything and my video is actually longer than before and the other thing i recognized is that i have stronger real life connections with my friends. Instead of using my time and energy on social media, I actually get to use that time and energy with the people I truly care about. So having the face-to-face -face interactions, they really help me to build more deeper relationships with my friends. And lastly, it feels really good to be private. I mean, of course I share my life with you guys through my YouTube channel, but YouTube is like the only platform that I use. And I actually have plans for each videos. And I try my best to be conscious about my personal privacy and security. But it's easier with YouTube because I have a purpose of my videos. Yeah, so this is how quitting social media has been very beneficial for myself. I'm not saying using social media is bad, but it was bad for me. So if you're ever thinking about like deactivating your account or stepping away from social media, I highly recommend it. You should try for at least one month and you will also notice all these positive changes. Okay, so enough of me chatting. I'm gonna get back to writing. just finished writing up my paper and it's only one o'clock. Since I finished this earlier than I expected, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare lunch for us. And I normally don't drink coffee. It's been a while since I had coffee and this one I made a little bit strong. I feel like having some reflux, so I need to eat something. Hey Prince. Prince. Cooks. <laughs> you look so dirty and messy. So I marinated some spicy pork bulgogi and that's what we're gonna have for lunch. This actually tastes like uh, the pork bulgogi you get from a Korean school lunch. I've been craving this lately. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Try. 
Oh, the kuchukar is so spicy. Mmm, it's good. 오늘도 귀엽게. Um. Mmm, it's so good. Okay, so I just ordered our chicken. My husband is getting the snow onion chicken and I ordered myself some yangnyeon chicken. It's a sweet and sticky and it also has a little kick to it. And in about hour and 20 minutes, the kickoff starts. Last year, Rihanna performed the halftime show and this year, Usher is going to perform. That's probably like the main reason why I'm watching Super Bowl just to watch halftime show. My food should be here soon. Hi. Yeah, here you go. Thank You're you. Y'all have a good one. This is a nice little nook. Thank you, Ari. Enjoy your food. So this is the onion for my husband's chicken. Here is the sauce for it. My husband's wings. And my yangnyeom chicken. Ooh. And he put the onions and the sauce. Just a little serving of rice and I'm gonna eat three pieces. Unfortunately, I have to eat my chicken without the essential side dish. What is it? <sighs> the chicken was so good, it's making me sleepy. Tomorrow is my work day. I gotta leave the house around 6.45. I'm gonna get ready for sleep because I have to get up early tomorrow. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video today and I'll be back with another video soon. Until then, peace!